I thought after my my uncle's death, I wish that it would never happen again. But then it happened to Tane Chatfield, you know, in Tamworth Correctional Centre, and it's still happening. And like, not like what's there's no like I just can't come to words. Like no no one's been held accountable. Nothing's been done about it. The week before the nurse was treating him for asthma, she responded to the scene empty-handed and was saying that it was a drug overdose. So she treated him for a drug overdose, but there was no drugs. His cause of death wasn't from drugs. Um, they come back as an asthma attack. But even if it is a drug overdose, should still everyone deserves mm-hmm. treatment. Everyone's life, it's a life. And um, he was treated like a dog, really. And it's racism within the police force um, under the um, under the guise of public drunkenness. That's what's killing people. People that die in custody, human beings, they're called drunks and they're called offenders and they're called prisoners. The Australian government would like to drive fear into the wonderful nation that refugees and Aboriginal people are different people, are criminals. Let's just say the day we put our, the day we put David Dungay Jr. in the ground, all them guards that was involved got promoted. They got promoted two weeks after the incident. There has not been a single conviction for an Aboriginal death in custody. The same as there has not been a single conviction for a refugee death in offshore processing facilities. Fight still remains to say, actually, we just want more, less policing of our bodies and less policing on the streets. So, and that's why I think that the um, defunding of the police is fantastic and it, uh, really given a lot of life from what's happened um, in coming out of Minnesota. So taking money away from the cops, taking away that $19 billion that is spent annually around the country is about ending the practice of ordinary people basically subsidising our own submission, subsidising systemic racism. I'm going to keep fighting for it. Um, You know, our family's fought for the past five years, you know, and personally I'm going to keep fighting until I take my last breath and hopefully by then some change happens. But, yeah, my main aim is to make change in Australia for the First Nations people because enough's enough. It's people's dying and it's just like people care, but not really anyone up in the government where they could do something about it. You know, we're keeping this movement happening with um, Black Lives Matter and Aboriginal deaths in custody um, and, you know, the brutality against Aboriginal people. You know, we're going to keep this keep this moving, keep this moving and keep it happening, you know, and we just need everyone to get behind us and, you know, all the support is what we need, power of the people, I guess.